So another budget case from Deepcool and this time it's a solid compelling one with the Deepcool CC360. Just how compelling? Well, we're going to review it, we're going to test it. All to answer the question, is this the best budget case available right now in the market? I'm Rocky the Programmer and this is the Deepcool CC360 MATX case review. And spoiler warning, yes, this is the best budget case available right now. So before we get ahead of ourselves, just the usual disclaimer, this case did come from Deepcool themselves. They provided the case for free for review, but they do not have a say on the verdict or the content of this video. Now on to the review. So the CCU360 is a budget MATX case from Deepcool with low-end builds and budget builders in mind. But in typical deep cool fashion, they managed to sneak in a lot of premium features in this supposed budget-oriented case. We'll talk about that later. So in order to review a case, let's define what makes a case great. So without the budget or cost in mind, there are three foundations that all great cases adhere to. Number one is the build quality. Is it solid? Will it break apart easily? Will it be able to support your very expensive components? Number two is the performance. Does it have good airflow? Does it let your system perform to its utmost without being hindered by thermal problems? And we'll lump this up, of course, with compatibility. There's not a lot of point of having a high-quality case, but you can't fit your components. Or the components that are compatible with it are very specific. Number three, of course, is the aesthetics. While, of course, aesthetics is very subjective, the overall look of the case is very important as that is what you're going to be looking at 100% of the time when you look at your PC. Now, with all those three in mind, let's have a look at the CC360. For specs, it's quite a roomy MATX case at 418 by 215 by 431 millimeters. It features a tempered glass side panel. And as I've said, it's an MATX case. But of course, you can also fit an ITX case here. For I.O., it has one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and an audio jack at the front. It has two 3.5 inch drive bays, two two and a half inch drive bays, plus another one if you configure it correctly, up to four expansion slots. And the very special and surprising thing about this, it has a total of three pre-installed ARGB fans, two 120 millimeter at the front and one 120 millimeter at the rear. This is perhaps one of the most versatile MITX cases we've had, featuring a plethora of configuration options and very roomy clearances. So for fan configurations, it can support three 120 millimeters at the front or two 140 millimeters. At the top, two 120 millimeters or two 140s. 
And at the rear, there's only one 120mm. And surprisingly, two 120mm on the PSU shroud. The versatility continues with the radiator support. At the front, it can support up to 360mm radiators and up to 240 at the top. Since this is a very roomy MATX case, it's no surprise that it can support up to 165mm of CPU cooler, up to 320mm of GPUs, and of course, a full ATX PSU. By those specs alone, I've probably described around 500 MATX cases. But what's special about this is the signature deep cool premium build quality. And it shines throughout this case. It's got mesh filters anywhere there's a vent or an opening for air. The PCIe covers are screwed in, unlike those that you'd see in budget cases like this where you have to permanently and awkwardly tear them off, which can potentially damage your motherboard, especially if you're a beginner builder. Cable management is very easy with this as there's a lot of cable routing channels and places where you can fix a zip tie to keep your cables clean and neat. As you can see in the name and of course in the case itself, it does feature three ARGB fans that you can control via your motherboard software or since this is deep cool that we're talking about, they've even added an RGB hub. Perfect for those very low-end builds where you don't have a lot of ARGB or RGB headers. Plugging into this hub instead of your motherboard header will give you the option to control your LEDs through the switch, like so. And it's the culmination of those small things that makes this case very special. Speaking of small things, the design and the little accents all over this case are all consistent. Deepco's rebranding and new design language is very apparent even at this budget case. Deepco has undergone this very minimalistic, square, almost pixel-like design aesthetic. And Deepco somehow manages to instill it even at this very square and very simple case. If you look at the vents at the side panels, you can see the little accents that they made in the way they designed the vents themselves. Of course, you know, who cares about a couple of small squares but it's the culmination and combination of all these attention to detail all of those little things combine to make the seemingly simple case stand out above its competition and we haven't even talked about the price currently here at hardware sugar this is currently our cheapest argb matx case it's very surprising to see the build quality and the configurations available at this case offered at such a low cost it's very solid, it looks great, it performs really well, while also beating out all its competition in terms of price. Of course, for this to be a fair review, I have to nitpick a bit and find some of the not so good, you know, the negative things about this case. And to be honest, I was very hard pressed to find one. The one thing I can say, as I did have experience building a PC for a client with this thing, and again, this is very nitpicky, the cable management for the fans, honestly, it's quite a nightmare. <laughs> what I'm saying is, out of the box, Deepcall kind of left the PWM and the RGB cables for the fans in such a messy way and left the cable management completely up to the hands of the owner or in our case, the builder to sort that mess out. In fairness, you know, that really comes with the territory. You know, cable management is an art and we've come to expect it with all of our builds. But it would have been nice if the cables were pre-routed already so that the cable management with this case is a step even higher with what it currently is. Another nitpicky, slightly negative thing about this is the ARGB hub slash controller is one of those old ones where you don't have the option to connect it to the motherboard so you can control it via the software. So if you want to control the lights of the ARGB fans, you have to do away with the hub and connect those fans directly to your motherboard. But again, it's very nice that Deepcool added that option that comes very handy, especially for low-end motherboards with sparse to zero ARGB or RGB headers. But of course, that's just, you know, very nitpicky, really scraping the bottom of the barrel to say something negative about this. But again, all the negative things about this are clearly outweighed by all the positives. It stands above its competition in terms of price, in terms of build quality, in terms of build configuration. Aesthetics, maybe it's clearly up to the owner. But I do have to say, this, this looks quite good. So in conclusion, if you're in the market for a budget build, there really is a very low number of better choices than this 
case, the CC360 from Deepcool. Deepcool has come a long way from their past budget offerings like the Matrex, like the Macube, where all of those have glaring flaws. But with the CC360, they probably made the perfect sub 3,000 peso case and it's a very solid choice for any MATX build. This is highly recommended. Thank you for watching.